Hi guys, I'm Exact Chaos and welcome back to another episode of Airport CEO. Again, thank you so much for all the likes and support that I keep receiving on this series. I absolutely love you guys. Thank you. Um, some of the cool comments that I received and that I think uh, re re uh, requires a little bit of attention is um, the one stating that please assign uh, vehicles to the stands. So that is something that I think we can and should do at some point, but I don't think it's effective to assign. At the moment, you can see there's almost no planes here whatsoever. Ooh, that's a little bit of a clash there. Um, there's almost no planes whatsoever over here. And to have vehicles assigned to all of these stands, I feel is a massive waste. What I'd rather do is make sure we have sufficient parking for these vehicles close to the stands and, and have them assigned to these stands as part of this terminal um, so that we can effectively use more of our vehicles so we don't have too many. Having too many vehicles uh, is probably not the end of the world, but I don't I don't generally like it. That's not how it works in real life. And yes, that's kind of how, why I use it for a little bit of realism. The other one that I heard of or that I see in the comments, which excites me a little bit, is a large underground car park. So in this series, I don't want to do a lot of stuff underground. If we go and look underground, I'm already not quite happy with these tunnels that I've got over here. Uh, and and I think they should probably actually be running across the, the taxiway over here. For a small airport like this, um, with almost no traffic whatsoever, um, running across the taxiway is really the, uh, the most appropriate thing to do. But something that I do think, as we continue to expand into this area, I think if we do a multi-level car park underneath our drop-off, um, that's something that will be quite interesting and something that uh, will be good. In, in real life, smaller airports like this would probably have a multi-story car park into the air um, so above ground but uh, I don't think the game allows that just this uh, at the moment so it probably um, will just have to be underground which I'm quite comfortable to do anyway okay so that's it what are we going to do in this episode I would like to see our um, our de-icing work and I would also like to get some of our other turnaround services up and running while we save a little bit of money to uh, get us ready for our additional expansion to get our uh, bigger terminal um, going on over here. I'm, I'm thinking a pretty big size terminal right over here with a new drop-off, well with a connected drop-off over here and then we'll see whether we how we use maybe this space over here a little bit later. Um, whether we're going to do the runway across like this or up and down like here I don't know yet but I'm open to suggestions. Okay let's get uh, straight into it and see what's going on. So first things first I speed up the game a little bit and let's really have a look at what's going on with our flights. So we've got a number of assigned stands and we're slowly making our way through this, but there's not enough kind of airlines. Well, there's a fair bit of traffic over here. There's a fair bit of traffic over here. What we could do is let's see if we can open up um, an additional um, kind of regional um, air, airline over here. So let's quickly pop in. So we fill those, those a little bit more. If we pop into our uh, contracts, contracts is what I'm after, uh, offered contracts over here. So I would like airline contracts only at this point in time. And we've got Air Canada, but I don't want the international flights. I want the, the more local ones. So we've got a number of additional Air Canada ones that we can probably get. We've got more WestJet Encore, right? I think maybe that's what we should do. Just get more WestJet Encore in here and separate them out a little bit. But yeah, I think that's about it for us. Canadian North, what is this? Uh, that's biggest bigger airlines, right? Oh no, it's medium. Contract between Canadian North and flights by Chaos Airline, please. Yeah, maybe that's the one we get. Master contract will allow Canadian North um, offer flights to and from your airport, the relationship between the airport and the airline. Okay, maybe that's what we do. Air Canada Rouge is an international one. WestJet Link, I'm not too sure. ATRs or smaller planes. Maybe WestJet Link is what we do. Slightly more local. Is that what we get? What else? What else do we have over here? There's another WestJet Encore that we can grab, of course. And then some of these things are more international, but for some reason they are probably popping up over here with, uh, with local flights as well. Canadian North feels like uh, the right thing for us to do. Just so that we add a little bit of uh, a little bit of diversity to it. Okay, so let's grab it. Let's uh, let's sign up. That's a pretty sizable plane, so we'll sign up with that one. And what I'm going to do is one of these stands. I'm actually going to go and say 
allow all airlines over there so that we can get Canadian North to pop in over here. Uh, probably one of these should have all airlines as well. So let's, uh, let's do all airlines over there also. I did this, uh, this whole s uh, single airline thing to try and get Edwards Bay not to be assigned anymore. Okay, so our area over here looks pretty good. I can obviously spruce it up a little bit and let's do that. Um, so let's uh, get in. Ooh, I need to always remember to uh, do this. Okay, so we'll spruce that up a little bit. I'll get a few plants and things in here. Maybe not hedges, but a few a couple of plants. If we do maybe something like this. Like that, that's okay. Something else that can look good over here, maybe. Wow, that's pretty pretty big. Um, that could look quite quite reasonable over here, actually. Or we'll uh, maybe we'll put it in. I don't know. I don't know. Let's do something like that, so we uh, we make it look a little nicer over here. Something like that. Just uh, just a tad. One one on this side. One on this side. Yeah, something like that. Just uh, just so it looks a little a little friendlier over here. We do need to. Oh, some of the things that I do absolutely want to do is get into lounges. That's definitely one of the things that I want to do. And potentially we can start off by putting in a CMA lounge over here. So uh, the icing is not working just yet. Let's see quickly see if we go for the other services. What do they cost and things like that. So maybe waste depot for cabin uh, cabin cleaning. We need. We don't need access to. We don't need access to the external road. So waste could potentially end up going in somewhere over here. I think that's quite reasonable actually, this spot right here. And then the other one is catering. We need to make sure that catering has a little spot somewhere. Uh, so we probably have to move things around a little bit to get catering to work. Oh, alternatively, we could do something like this or something like that, but we'll have to move things around just a tad to make sure catering can in fact work. Anyway, we won't do catering just yet. Let's go and start off with some waste stuff. Uh, so we'll get some more services running. Mm, where was it? Over here, waste. So what does this cost? 25,000 only. Hopefully that is a reasonable thing for us. So I'm tempted to just get, maybe get it in over here somewhere. I think that's a that's a reasonable location right there. Gives us a, a little bit of extra room, so I'll do that. We'll get that one in there. We'll get our um, our service road to link up over here, so that is in fact now connected. What I was kind of wondering is whether we should maybe do a tunnel to go underneath and connect it to some of the other stuff. Mm, all the way up here, maybe. Yeah, presumably that's the right thing for us to do. I don't. I, I know I don't want to do the tunnel stuff, but you know some of this stuff is just going to make more sense to do it. Unless we, unless we just run it across over here and across over there, which is something that I kind of wanted us to do. Yeah, well, let's just do that. Let's just do that. I know you guys are going to shout at me because you don't like us doing that, uh, but I'm going to do it. Going to do it. Unless you convince me otherwise, I'm going to do it. Um, if I can find it. Okay, there we go. This is this is what I'm after. Okay, here we go. So what we'll do is we'll just link it across over here and over there. Okay, and I'm going to run it up here and into there. So there we go. So now we've got a, a good old connection over here. Okay, good stuff. We could do the connection into here also. Something like that so that we can kind of tie these things together. So something like that is a, a, a feasible uh, solution for us. So now we can, in fact, start to um, to get a contract in place and so on. So we co we're not going to request a waste pickup just yet. We're going to grab ourselves the additional vehicles. We're not really making tons of money, so hopefully our new flights are coming in. Let's get a couple of waste vehicles. I'm not going to buy too many of them. Um, catering trucks and cabin cleaning. So we'll grab two cabin cleaning trucks. Uh, we'll, oof, will we have to assign one to each one of these? Okay, we'll have to have a look at that. Maybe assign them. Or we'll assign them not to a specific terminal. We'll assign the waste trucks over here. Maybe that's what we do. Where are our waste trucks? Here they come. I just want to grab that one and assign it to this depot over here. Thank you. That one as well. Assign it to this depot over here. 
Where is it going? Do we have waste services? Anyway, we're going to switch on waste services now. Operations, aircraft cleaning services will enable that so that we can pick that up. We, here's our Canadian North flight that's coming in from where? Goose Bay or going to Goose Bay. Here we go. Nice, uh, nice big, big flight over there. Um, we're also now seeing tons more people over here. So I think we need to go ahead and expand this area just a little bit more. More buses, please. Uh, we are doing multi-direction, so we'll do a couple of additional buses like so and a couple of additional kind of parking spots um, in there and in there and hopefully that kind of deals with the situation. Should be quite reasonable and feasible. Yeah, so we've, we're, uh, we're a little short on, on buses for terminal, for terminal 2 over here. We are at two degrees, so still no de-icing. These guys are using this, so that's good. All of that is happening. We still don't have a filled up schedule over here. Are we, uh, we probably need at some point to uh, convert into a larger um, air traffic control. Kind of wondering whether we need more, need more of these. There's a lot of flights. But maybe not. Why is A2 down here? Whoa, 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 whoa. A2 is not a remote stand. And it's not international flights. Where is A2? Hang on, hang on, hang on. Let's just resolve A2 over here. It's definitely not international flights. So why is it being picked up as a remote stand with international flights and things like that? It should not be, right? Go in here, A2. Why are you... A2, definitely not. Oh, do we have two A2s? Where is this stand? That is weird. We've got an A2 over here. Do we have two A2s? Five, four, three, two, one. Any of these picking up as A2? No. So that's a little weird. Anyway, I'm not going to... None of these are picking up as stands, right? Okay, waste collection should be underway. Okay, that is working. Let's quickly have a look and see. Ooh, we need security officers. We have many. Where do we have a shortage though? See, this is this this um, view now really needs to be expanded to be uh, per terminal. All right, so I can understand where we have a shortage because clearly we have enough right service technicians we have eight of them only two jobs are claimed and so that's a bit of a problem what i'm kind of wondering is whether we can have service technicians that just roam all terminals that's that's one of the things that i am wondering about if we go to vehicles pushback trucks yeah we should probably get another pushback truck even though only two are claimed but yeah another pushback truck can can really help us out over there so let's get another Pushback, truck, um, let's get two of them. Okay, and we do need to have a look and see where all of our vehicles are assigned. Are we, this is doing the cleaning, right? Oh, this is, no, 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 that's, uh, that is the, um, no, that's fueling. So are we seeing any cabin cleaning happening or should we actually assign vehicles to, to the stands? I mean, not to the stands, to the terminals. That's my question over here. I haven't seen any cabin cleaning happening. So this is where the multi-terminal thing comes in a little weird for us. So if we go and have a look at our multi-terminal setup over here and we look at vehicles, we can see, well, we probably need to assign another vehicle over there, but we don't have, if I, what is going on here? If we go to cleaning and de-icing, we're not interested in getting the icing sorted for this terminal specifically, but potentially if we grab one of these, maybe now we will start getting some stuff happening. What is that? Oh, hang on. I think this guy was here. Cabin cleaning was here even before we assigned a, a vehicle over here. So anyway, we'll, we'll just have to keep an eye on that, bear in mind how it works and so on. We're still struggling a little bit to get our money up there. Okay, now it is minus six degrees at the moment. So I believe that should activate our de-icing. And I'm keen for us to start getting some de-icing up. Oh, yeah, uh, not quite here yet. Where are our vehicles? 
The icing is switched on, right? No. The icing fluid supplier, right? No. Accepted contracts? Not with airlines, but with the icing fluid? I thought we signed, we certainly signed a contract. Okay, well, let's say uh, offered contracts then, or offered contracts for the icing. That's weird. I'm sure we did Chemcore. Now it's more expensive. Olaf's, six per liter. <coughs> per delivery, lots and lots of liters per delivery. Uh, Olaf is the cheapest, so I'm kind of thinking, let's just grab Olaf. Olaf, let's sign you. Thank you. I'm going to go in over here. Just to make sure we're not going to get a delivery of way too much stuff. But we're going to, it's going to cost us a little bit of money. And then hopefully that means with that signed, we can now actually offer the icing. I'm sure, sure we did that in the last one. Anyway, that's uh, that's about up to there. Now, it's minus six, so we should get here. Here they come. Here comes the vehicles. Two over there, one over here. Oh, there's our first de-icing happening, guys. Air Canada, the icing over here. Nice. There we go, and on your way, nice. Not too bad, not too bad. Here comes another one. Kind of working, there is a little bit of queuing space over here, so it is, it seems to be quite reasonable. Nice, okay, good. Excellent, so hopefully we'll make a lot more money. Apparently the icing is actually quite a lucrative industry as well for us, so that's awesome. We'll keep doing that. So we've got the icing over here. Now, can we, find ourselves uh, a spot so that one we can get rid of so let's close this depot what is this request extra fuel review the contract uh fuel and go no, that's fine uh it's unfortunate that i'll have to kind of i'm going to demolish this and i'm going to demolish that but before i'll demolish that let's get a new spot for um do, 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 for um for our, for our vehicles vehicles parking parking vehicles vehicles parking over here should we go depot? Depot over here, maybe depot up here. Maybe depot is the right thing to do. Maybe depot is the right thing to do. So we'll maybe add a depot in here. Ooh, we can actually use this very same roundabout. I like it. Depot over there, nice. Now let's grab our service road and tie our service road in like so with a bit of a turnaround in there also. So that's quite useful and we'll also give it a little bit of asphalt if I can get the click to work um, under there. There we go. So now that looks nice and fine. What we'll do is we will go ahead. Actually, that one I want to sell. How can I do that? Follow the vehicle? Interesting. Can I sell this vehicle? Yes, let's sell that vehicle. Thank you. You move to this depot over here. You move to that depot over there. You move to that depot over there. I don't know if we need to have them move over there, all of them. Uh, why do we have a service car parked out all the way over here? You need to come and move uh, move up over there, please. Service car. And this is the small fuel truck, two of them. You can move in over here as well. So let all of them move out. Then we will... Why is the bus parked here? We definitely don't need the bus to be parked here. Bus park over there. Thank you. And then we will close this one. You're closed, buddy. You're closed. We probably don't need you to be assigned over here either. You need to be assigned up here somewhere, right? Okay, now with that in mind, we can now go ahead and demolish all of this stuff. So let's uh, trim that uh, back a fair bit. And now let's see how can we squeeze our... Um, oh, I wanted to show you that actually our security is pretty good. Actually, tier 1, 100%, tier 2, 100%, and tier 3, 100%. Uh, I mean, not 100%, 99%. That's probably subject to our security officer's skills. But that means that our setup here is a good working setup, and so it's a good one to do. Can't find a staff, staff room. You should really be able to. Let's quickly find the other service we want. We're um, after catering. Right, so if we say catering like so, kind of happy to do that for catering. Not sure how that much how much that costs, but anyway. And then we'll just get a new service road connection. 
um, something like that maybe and something like this so that they can get in get out do all those kind of things that's going to be just fine uh, and I think that's okay for now so now we've got catering stuff as well this I want to make sure that we uh, we don't do too many hourly operating costs needs to be needs to be really low I think and let's um, Let's make sure our supply is not too high. Something like that should be fine. Now let's get a catering contract in place. We are after caterers, catering food suppliers. That is $1 per food item, $1, $1, they're all $1. So we'll just get uh, Sky Garden, which is four stars for some reason. That's the one we need to do. So let's sign that one. I don't even bother reading the rest of that. We need some catering trucks. So let's get some vehicles. Catering vehicles over here. Aircraft cabin cleaning and catering. Let's get two of them for now. Probably need more soon, um, but we'll start off with two. Okay, uh, it's gone warmer again, so no de icing happening just at the moment. Got a few flights coming in over here. We do need to start work on our um, new products have arrived. Where are they? Here they come. What I'll do is I will allocate one of them over here and one of them up there. Thank you. Nice trip all the way around there. Probably I need to run a connection through here as well. I'm going to do that. Let's grab a connection through there. There we go. <laughs> You're not liking it, huh? Okay, now let's uh, let's get a let's get a, a lounge in place. That's something I would like us to do. So, see a CMA lounge over here. I think is the right thing. We'll use this area because we've got tons of space over here. We can use the other side for some um, exit exit lounges. Um, well, we'll have to see. We'll have to see how we deal with that. Anyway, lounge over here is what I'm after. So if I want to go uh, a nice and sizable lounge, so let's do, must be placed in a secure zone. Okay, fair enough. Oh, so what we definitely don't want, we definitely don't want these to be linked. Um, so get the secure zone. I'm gonna clear out this as secure zone. We don't need that as secure zone. Um, over here, I will open a door for us. So let's get a bit of a door going on here. Just like that and what we'll do is we'll also get our secure zone connection through here so if we say something like is it, this is a large a very large secure zone so let's do uh, it's too large for this small area let's just go up to about there so we make use of the window um, and we'll see we'll, we'll put some bathrooms in there as well Let's just start with something like that for now. Well, oh, actually, it's the whole secure zone thing, right? So let's uh, link that up. We'll go secure zone all the way till there. And we'll put in another wall over here because you guys don't like me using hedges as, as, the, as the edge of secure zones. Now, if we do lounge, I'm going to do a nice big lounge over here. Something to that effect, okay? And what we'll do is we'll put some bathrooms at the back over there as part of the lounge. Uh, do we do something else? I don't know. Can we do a funny size lounge? No, we have to do like square lounges. That's one of those things that I don't really agree with. It's something that they should probably uh, do a little bit differently. Okay, what I also want us to do is make sure we get a bathroom in here. Whether we need that much bathroom space, I don't know. Okay, let's get the walls up there first. So let's grab some walls. Um, Mm, that's in fact that's a little bit of a window so we'll probably need to resolve the window or can we do something else in there maybe yeah it's not it's not gonna work is it ah you know what I'm gonna do instead let's uh, let's demolish this room yes let's delete that let's go and get the lounge um, over here then we can double up and use this on that side also yeah that's the right thing to do that is the right thing to do grab that okay over here that is the lounge bigger yeah that's actually 15 by 14 by 14 something like that yeah that's fine that's fine 
And now what we'll do is we'll put a couple of bathrooms in here. So give me some walls, uh, about four wide, five wide, something like that. That's one. That's one. And then we'll see how we use that space. At the moment, it's not being used. Maybe we connect it onto that side, get something else going on. But yeah, that should give us nice bathrooms in here as part of the lounge. Uh, let's get a couple of doors in here. Like so, that should be good. Now give us a bathroom or two. Nice and nice. And let's get some stuff in here. And we'll get, uh, ooh, actually we'll do it the other way around. Get some stuff over there and grab these guys like so. And get some of this in place, get some of that in place and get our hand dryers done. There we go. Okay, so we can open up this. This is gonna be a uh, female do it and this is going to be mail and do it we'll need to get a little bit better at that let's quickly get the stuff that's required in the lounge and then we'll call it the end of the episode okay so if we're saying lounge so lounge access is going to work a little bit like this yeah i like that that's the lounge and then we need um a buffet table in the back over there and we'll get some other bits of seating and so on in here as well so if we can get some, some of these uh, sofas, a little bit like that. Oh, here I can use hedges a little bit. Let's grab some hedges just to kind of block it off so people um, go into there as firstly. And we'll block it off like this, just so that there's a little bit of a, people don't, yeah, I, I like that. I like that idea. Okay, so just a bit of a, privacy hedge right in there then we need to add a few more things maybe a, a few tables and chairs so let's uh must be placed inside a food room interesting um how about some of these yeah some of these tables maybe yeah that can that can work we'll do um a few a few like that maybe even a one or two over there get ourselves actually a little bit of a a workspace up here Yeah, something like that could be, could be useful. And we'll grab ourselves some of these chairs. What did I, uh, I like these. Let's uh, let's um, add a few of them in, uh, maybe not that one. Mm. It's okay, maybe, yeah, maybe what we'll need to do is move it out a little bit. Uh, let's do, just want it to be, want it to be nice. Um, so if we go and grab this, let's, um, trim those back and we'll kind of place it here and there and what we'll do is we'll grab the sofa take it out and put it in there so something like that instead and what we'll do is we'll grab our the chairs that we've been using over here nice we'll put a bit of plants in there now I'm just going to grab something like this over here uh, maybe a little something like that yeah, something like that maybe. Is that, uh, should think, think, think that should work. Now if we just grab a few plants, just to kind of make it look a little bit nicer. One in the corner there, one in the corner over there. Um, the rest should be okay. The rest should really be okay. Maybe we'll have, actually grab one more of these, um, one of these uh, nice sofas and place it in here. Maybe we need a bin or two. That could be useful. We'll grab a bin, place one in there, get another plant. Yeah, so I'm not I'm not quite the interior designer, but uh, but yeah, that looks that looks pretty good. So there we go. So that's going to be our CMA. Ooh, and the one thing we are in fact missing. Let's make this CMA Central Mountain Air. Uh, we'll open that up for business. And what I'm also going to do is I'm going to grab a CMA little logo. Um, right over there and I believe yeah that's gonna be nice there we go uh, what we can do is we can give it a little bit of a different kind of flooring something that would uh, would look a little nicer or something like that let's let's see how that works yeah not bad not bad not not great but not bad we'll uh, we'll finish it off in there and we'll grab some of the kind of bathroom tiles 
right over here and just gonna finish that off. Um, these should be open. Yeah, they are open. In fact, this one should now be open. So we need some staff over there. Let's quickly go ahead and grab a couple of staff members for, uh, so we passenger service agents will grab two of them um, that can go ahead and work over there. We'll have to pop into the, um, actually into the terminal view over here and just make sure that we've got um, the additional um, agents over there. I'm also going to go ahead and expand the terminal here a little bit so that we ensure that we include um, that parking area for the vehicles of the terminal. Yeah, something like that, maybe. Yeah, that's good, that's good. Um, this should be okay. What we can do is we can expand um, this over here as well so that we uh, include these stops um, for, for that terminal too over there. Okay. Well, uh, we are seeing some good de-icing going on over here. That's pretty good. Yeah, here they come. De-icing. Oh, nice. Nice. There we go. De-icing is happening. Um, we are making a little bit of money. What I might do is in between episodes, just let it run a little bit. Um, so we get up to a, a decent mark of money so that we can go ahead and, and, and purchase this one. Otherwise, in the next episode, we'll probably have to take out a loan to, to, to look at our further expansion. Um, we should also uh, be putting in some shops over here. So I do think that that's a, a good idea for us to potentially do. Um, and maybe actually use this as part of the secure zone as the guys enter through here and go to baggage claim that there's some shopping over here. That would actually work quite well. Um, and then we can do some additional uh, lounges and stuff over here. So there's a few things that we still need to do in this terminal before we really expand and go on to the other one. I've kind of learned my lesson that if we don't finish off a terminal properly, uh, it ends up uh, not getting done at all in, in the future. So let's, uh, let's make sure that we uh, do do that. Okay, guys, thank you so much for watching. As per usual, if you've enjoyed it, please hit that like button. I absolutely appreciate your support. And I uh, also want to hear all your comments. I do read them all. I might not respond to all of them, but I do read all of them. Um, and excellent. That is great stuff that you, uh, that, you, that you give me. There's some good ideas that's coming out of the comments as well. Okay. Also, if you want to join the Discord, please do so. The description, um, the link is in the description below. Um, join the Discord. We've got a great growing community, um, active community on Discord, and we have lots of fun chats over there. Guys, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.